Get up. Get up and fight. Major. You're not at war, Barrett. Stop fighting imaginary enemies. I've seen enough. Top of the world. And stop punishing Ginny for falling in love with me. She stayed with you. She married you. You should have made it go. Oh, shut up. I think you've lost her, Barrett. And it's your own fault. I promise, Ginny. Let's stay away from her. Allow her to live her own life. But I'm not going to keep that promise anymore, Barrett. I'm telling you right now, and I'm going to tell Ginny, I'm going to fight you for her. Because you just don't deserve her. I'm going to fight you. And I'm going to win. You go near her again, Connor. And I'll kill you. Upstairs restroom. Fixing her some tea. Barry, please don't cause any more trouble. Ginny's upset enough as it is. I told you before to mind your own business, and I mean it. Don't you know that Ginny is my friend and her welfare is my business? All this trouble, it's your fault. Problems didn't start just today. They've been coming on for a long time. Too long. Ginny and I were doing just fine until you decided to split us up. You've been trying for weeks now to turn her against me. Don't you think you've done a pretty good job of that yourself? I know what ideas you've been putting in her head. You're worse than Jeb. Agreeing to let her meet Ryan in your cabin. Believe me, Ginny had no idea that Ryan was coming out to my cabin this morning, so don't blame her. I'm not blaming her. I'm blaming you. You've been undermining me for weeks now, and I won't have it anymore. You want to beat me up? Is that what you want to do? Why don't you concentrate on making your husband happy? So that Ginny and I can work out our own problems. Is knocking Ginny around your idea of solving problems, Marina, Barrett? Marina, I did not mean to hurt Ginny. I'm sorry, I don't believe you. But it doesn't matter what you believe, because this is none of your concern. Barry, I won't stand by easily and watch you destroy Ginny because of your insane jealousy. Don't you know that that woman has done everything in the world to prove to you how much she cares about you? She's trying to put Ryan in the past. Don't you understand that? But you won't let her. That's enough, Rena. Listen to me, boy. Listen to me, darling. You are driving Ginny away. And you trying to blame me or Ryan or anybody else, that's not going to solve the problem. If you'd stop undermining me and... Ginny is terrified of you. Do you know that? Ryan and I, we can cause that. You do. And if you won't deal with that, if you won't face your sickness, you're going to lose Ginny for sure. I am not sick. There's nothing Listen sick about loving someone. Listen to me, you're someone. sick. You need help, Barry. Get it before it's too late. You get out of my house. You don't ever set foot in. I don't want to see you, but I don't want you to see Ginny again, ever. I swear, you have the strangest sense of logic. You talk to Daddy. I'll think about it, okay? I just want you to be happy, man. That's all I want. After what's happened to Jenny and 
Oh, I gotta call and check on him. You know, when I was driving back up to the cabin, I saw, I saw Barrett. He was walking down towards the stable with a bottle of whiskey in his hand. Did you talk to him? Well, no. I was, I was just so upset about Justin. What the devil's going on now? I gotta make sure that Ginny is all right. Rena. I got a check on Ginny. Okay, I'm here. Oh. Don't leave me! I won't leave you. Jimmy, are you bleeding? No. The pain! Oh. I'm gonna call Courtney. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. 